Yeah, we're going to give a little walk around in the box Chevy, man. Real quick. See my center cap missing right there. Do not buy the plastic ones. Those things will pop the fuck off. I didn't even have them on maybe a couple days. I pulled in the garage. I'm like, what the hell is that? I hear I ran over something. It's my damn center cap, but they ABS plastic. So don't buy those. Buy the OEM stainless steel ones. They way better. I got to put a stud and I broke that stud off too when I was um tightening these. I over tightened them and broke it off, but I'm going to put the slotted rotors with the wild wood on there. So I ain't really tripping on that. I'm going to do front and back disc brakes instead of the drums. Computer, I need to get that inside the dash, of course. Might just leave it out here for now just to get it running. I'm going to probably leave it out here, but I'm going to mount all that under the dashboard on the passenger side. 5.3, though. It got like 95,000 miles on it. Of course, I heard it run before I bought it. Checked the truck out before a dude pulled it out of there for me. It was a dude a couple hours, well, about a half hour away from me. I bought the motor and the trans from the same dude, but they was at two different times because when I went the first time, he had the motor, but no two-wheel drive trans. And then I went back. He called me when he got the 4 l 80 and I went back. But that's what happened when you do good business with people. They, you know, they'll call you. You know what I mean? And let you know shit, even though they want that money about you. But, you know, they'll call you. If you, you, you do good business with people, you know, they'll be on top of it. So he was on top of that when he found me that trans. But um, we got the 87 front clip right there. As y'all seen in my previous videos, got to get a little body work done to it. I think I'm going to put that on this weekend as well. Throwing that on, that's why I brought it out the house. Put the fuel pump up in there, so that's the new gas tank. And I like these new tanks with the rounded edges instead of them pointy ass ears. I hated that. And it's like a like a metallic gray or something, but I like the look on it. So yeah, I'm gonna get that put in this weekend too as well. I went with the lock art um, for the gear sh shifter for the four L eighty. So that should work pretty good. They go to the part number. That should work out for me right there. That's a simple setup. I also got the lock art for the um, throttle cable too. So that's the part number for that. That's pretty simple to set up too. So if y'all need something, you know that's what y'all probably should go with if you're going with a 4L80 Trans as far as this right here. This cable setup, you can use it. If you know something better, use that. But that's what I'm going with. Went with the Dino Max mufflers. You know, I try to get much new shit as I can, man. I, I'm really already like 3000 over my budget with this car. That's the cooling fan right there I got from Jigs. You know, and like I said, I see a lot of people saying, well, you can get an LS swap done for 3000 or less, which is true if you want just stock shit. You know what I'm saying? I want mine to look good and I want much new shit under there as possible. So I bought a lot of shit, as you can see, and it's not even half of the box. I done threw a lot of them out. I got a lot of shit. Them the gas lines right there. Them gas lines alone, I almost paid $200 for them, but they some high-pressure fuel lines. Yeah. Let's get in the inside. Y'all have seen the inside before. I need this right here, too. If I can find one of these... That'll be cool. I already got these switches brand new, but I need this switch because these be getting stuck. So if anybody knew where I can get some of these at, let me know. I need some ASAP. But I'm getting the interior done. It ain't too bad in here. If it was real clean, I would leave it stock. But since it's, you know, it's a little worn in here, so I'm going to go ahead and get the whole interior redone. My same guy who did my last interior on my, my black 79 I had. Dash a little cracked up. I'm going to go ahead and buy that double DN kit. So I'm going to replace all of that shit right there that's coming out of there. Headliner is pretty solid. And I need a motor for this seat. Should I should I replace this whole seat or should I um just get a motor? Because the motor going out on this seat right here. I tried to tinker with it. That motherfucker wasn't working. But yeah, like I said, man, and this shit right here, I got to get all this shit done. Got to get new weather trimming, weather, weather stripping around there. So it's a lot of work got to go into this box, man. I just want to do a little walk around for y'all. Let y'all check it out. Bring you into my world for a minute. 
that box don't mind that that was that I was using that for this cold ass concrete I was laying on yesterday when I put the cross member up. But yeah, man, like I said, it's gonna be some more work. Oh, there goes my other shit back here. This for me jacking the car up. I didn't drop shit all off the back of the car. Ugh. I don't know what that is. Oh well. Yep, yeah, but uh y'all stay tuned. I'm gonna put this front clip in this weekend. Yeah, but the gas tank in the front clip gonna go in this weekend. Or one or the other. Stay tuned, man. Box Chevy P checking out. Catch y'all on the next one. Just did a quick little walk around. Y'all stay tuned, man. I can't wait to get this thing painted. Can't wait to get it running, which is we we right there. But I'm gonna get it running. Go get the exhaust done. And from there, we ain't hesitating, like I said. But I, like back to what I was saying earlier, though, you can get your LS swap done for cheap. But if you want your shit how you want it, you're going to have to spend more money. And that's what I did. Shit, I, shit I'm shit, i already, man, at least 11000 in this thing, including the price of the car, of course. But, um, and I ain't nowhere near done. I ain't did paint, body work, interior, rims, nothing. And I'm going to put some 26 Forgies on that joint, too. I'm, I was looking at rims last night, so I think I'm going to go ahead and order those within the next month or so. So y'all stay tuned, man. Box Chevy P checking out. Y'all on the next one. Peace.